know, hey, I just want to uh, wish everybody happy holidays and, um, you know, thank uh, all the organizers for the Boston Public Schools. I thought um, having the kids in the building today was really, really special. Gave us the energy that we needed uh, to be a real quality opponent, quality program. And uh, it was a fun atmosphere with the new scoreboard and, uh, and the kids in the building. And, and we welcome back Fossa to the lineup. So it's a good day all around. Yeah, certainly, it's, it's obvious to say having him back is a, is a big deal, but I mean, it, the, the way he pl seemed to get better as the game went along just kind of underscore that. Yeah, I thought, you know, I'll let him speak to it. I, I thought he did a great job for being out as long as he's been, and, uh, you know, it's hard to simulate the rhythm of a game and the intensity of a game, and especially against a quick and athletic team like St. Bonaventure. But uh, I thought he did an excellent job of getting us in an offense, creating an offense, making big shots. Uh, he could have left the turnovers uh, back on vacation, but, uh -huh. you know, that's a timing thing, you know, getting back, uh, getting your rhythm back, and you got to give a little credit to them. They're long and athletic, but it's great to have them back. Fasa, how, how did it feel to be back out there today? Oh, uh, it felt amazing. Uh, you know, I never really, throughout my college career, I never took any games off. Uh, I haven't missed any games, so... It was it was it was different. It was weird. Uh, I couldn't wait to come back. And uh, what can I say now? I'm just happy to be back. How tough was it to, to watch the team play six games with that show out there? Uh, it was it was hard, uh, especially you know at the beginning it wasn't that bad. But as the time was going on, as, as I started realizing how much I was missing, then um, it definitely bothered me. Does it hurt? Any pain left? Uh, no, no pain left. How about when the you stop wearing the uh, apparatus? Uh, I, I only wore. Uh, uh, cast, cast for for about 12 days, and that was it. About the presence and just the player, Anthony Green's become a threat inside. You got all those ball handlers outside, but he, he made all the shots. So he led you with six boards, and he's just been solid, it seems. Yeah, I believe he changes the way we play. Um, on offense, he's giving us, uh, you know, uh, ability to throw the ball, you know, he, uh, throw the ball up, and he's going to catch. He's a really good roller, um, you know, obviously athletic. Um, and then same thing on defense. Uh, he's blocking a lot of shots. He's changing other other uh, teams shots so I think he's a uh, you know huge huge piece of this team so with the, uh, the in the era of pitch counts uh, did you have a minute count on him today or uh? you know what I felt like his injury was a little different because it was his wrist uh -huh. so and it was his offhand so he's able to shoot pretty much through it all he was able to run and condition uh -huh. uh, ball handle you know do everything yeah. except feel like that was all so I felt a little bit more comfortable, um, you know, with his injury being able to get him right back in there because, uh, you, you know, it didn't really affect anything just his offhand. As long as there wasn't any pain in there, um, you know, down in Charleston he was he couldn't catch the ball. As long as the pain was gone, I thought he'd be okay. And luckily for us, he was he was more than okay today. Was this about when you expect him to be back, or is it pretty much right on schedule? Or? You know, we talked about this. Um, you know, they said four to six. It's five. Uh, we split the difference. He felt good. He felt ready. He, was, you know, I think most times when when athletes get injured, it's, the, it's their mindset first. You know, are they, do they trust their body ready to get out there? And when he came to me and said he really wanted to play, I, f I thought he was in a good frame of mind to go out and compete. I think sometimes when guys come back too early, it's it's not really the injury. It's not trusting their body. But he he was fully confident in what he was doing, and uh, you know, so we figured we'd get a game in before we start conference play. When was that moment that he came to you and said he wants to play? You know, I think early, early in the week he, he got cleared with, by the doctor on Monday, came in practice great, uh, you know, throughout the week. And so, you, you know, based on those couple of days, we said, hey, you know, might as well go. What's the feeling about how this team has progressed now, the conference play beckons, and certainly the injuries have been a little bit of a disruption, yeah. but what's the sense? But I think it's given us a growth opportunity also, you know, because we have different lineups, you know, you find different guys, I thought. Shaq Walters gave us great minutes there. I think Jason Strong's been giving us minutes. So those injuries have cut, well, kind of opened up opportunities for every, other guys, and they've stepped up and, and gained some valuable experience. And now you're not afraid to put them in tight situations, and they're responding in a really positive way. What, made, what, what, what kind of made the difference at the end? It was kind of back and forth, kind of ugly game. But Yeah, I, th I thought we got a couple stops, yeah. you know, and I thought Anthony was really big around the rim and went vertical, got, came up with some big rebounds, and then, of course, Foster directed our offense and, and created some easy shots for our other guys. But, you know, uh, I, I think when you get stop and a score, stop and a score, stop and a score, you, you, you can push it a little bit. But they're a great team and a great program, and, you know, we're fortunate to get the win today.
Boss, you guys shot almost 71% in the second half. For you, is that just kind of settling in, getting going, or what kind of clicked? What's the yeah, I mean, definitely that was part of the reason. Uh, uh, I thought everybody kind of settled down and uh, start, the shot started falling. Uh, so, yeah. And I, even uh, for myself, I, I felt much better in the second half, just that, you know, after being there for a little bit, like feel, filling it out, and then coming back after the, after the half. So, so do you have a rotation yet? No. <laughs> so what are you thinking about the re-rotation? It seems, when I've seen you in a few games, it doesn't, it's not, it has not been the same. So it's not been the same, but the that's some, some of those, uh, you, you know, we talked about that, I think, in the pregame. Uh, we, I don't know that we've started, maybe we started the same lot, lineup twice this year. Mm -hmm. um, but I just, it, it speaks to our depth, and I think, you know, if we go in a mentality that, you, you, you know, we're going to attack the, the, the CEA schedule with that because you have, you know, it's a Thursday-Saturday slate. And I think that, you know, gives you an advantage. Um, and we have some versatile guys that can, you know, slide up and down the lineup and give us different looks upon matchups. You know, certainly we tried to keep size on their size uh, today, but there are, there are times when you have to go small, particularly in our league. And, you know, we got some guys that have developed into that role where you can play a little small ball. So here's what I took from that. This is going to continue? We're, we're not going to really yeah. have a rotation? I, I, I think so. Um, <laughs> but subject to change, hopefully, uh, you know, knock on wood, everybody stays healthy and we're ready to go. How about the issues with the floor today? Does that have to do with the warmth and the hot? Does anyone yeah, know? I think it was just the moisture in, in the building just because the humidity, humidity in the air. I think it was a little warm in there, so it might have been bubbling up. We're going to talk about stopping things? Right? Uh, I, I think Mike said, hey, if it gets, gets worse, but um, and I think guys were, were were sweating a little bit out there, so I, you know you got you'd coming from all, all all different areas. But uh, I thought the, the the event crew did a nice job of keeping the playing area safe. You kind of alluded to how the, the X factor, and of course you've gone through a lot of this without Sean, and he wasn't here today. Is he not all the way back from what caused him to miss those first few yeah, games? Yeah, you, you know I got a text from Sean last night. He's gonna um, t take a temporary leave and go home. He's he, he's. Uh, he, he, want, he wants to get, he hasn't been home in a while. He's got to get back home and see his family. And then, uh, you know, when he gets back after Christmas, hopefully everything, you know, will, will, will progress. But, um, you know, we, we knew that going into the game we were going to have him available. So just a personal, personal matter. Right? Personal matter. Yeah. Do you, do you make your own schedule? Uh, yeah. Or does someone do it for you? Uh, you, you know, we, we do it. Uh, <laughs> Collectively, but I've done it over the years and, and tr always tried to play the very best that we can right. um, and play against styles that will help us prepare for, for CAA play. Uh, yeah. Might have overdid it this year, but uh, <laughs> um, I, I think you know guy, our guys like to play uh, against good competition. I think it keeps you, you know, ultimately accountable. Uh, you know, if you don't play a ball screen right, somebody's going to score. If you, you, you know, if you don't close out properly, you know, that, that guy's going to score. And, you know, it helps you get better quicker uh, when you're playing that type of competition. You don't choose the starting times, though, right? No, I don't. <laughs> but today, today was uh, a factor because it, you know everybody wants to be able to catch flights to get home. Uh -huh. uh, it's on everybody's mind, uh, but also to to uh, to um, have the possibility of Boston Public School here. Uh, you know, we pushed it to a noon start so they can get back to school and have a nice field trip.